Hey mates, and welcome to a, uh, back to, I guess, video game news. I'm not really going to call the number of the episodes anymore, because it's kind of random when I do it. And I kind of thought this was really important in gaming things. I don't usually do this, because I kind of generally like to do them when I feel like doing them, and my channel is more for Let's Plays, so that's why I don't really do news that much. But this time, I wanted to talk about the, uh, about Hideo Kojima looking for studio to remake MGS1, the hoax. Yes, it is a hoax. And basically I'm on GameSpot right now, and the article is called Kojima looking to remake MGS1 with next-gen Fox Engine. Yeah, that's not true. So anyway, I'm going to read this. Then it looks like there's a video, which I'm going to watch. I'll probably leave a link. I don't... Wait, that might be for some other game anyway. Probably the fifth game. But we'll get to that in a second. Update. Metal Gear Solid creator says he's he'd be interested in another Metal Gear Solid 1 remake, but error in translation means it's not actually happening right now. Although I guess it, it I think it possibly could possibly still happen, it just hasn't been confirmed. So right now it's a hoax, but that doesn't mean it's going to remain a hoax, if that makes sense. And then, um, update. Again, Hideo Kojima has said on Twitter that he is not actively looking for a studio to remake Metal Gear Solid 1... Metal Gear Solid and the Fox Engine, but that his translator misinterpreted his comments regarding the rumor from yesterday. He said, "Check the data recording the actual re interview. It was mistranslated from our side." Chris, my interpreter, answered in different nonce that made this coincidence. I, on the other hand, answered with a bit of lip service. Hold on, service, yes. So yeah, he just had a just a bad translator. I answered, you, the journalist, wanted me to do MGS2 on Fox Engine, but I cannot do. I wish if only someone could make MGS1 on Fox Engine. The journalist wasn't wrong. Wait, hold on, I'm going to read that. Yeah, so basically he just, he is wishing that someone could do it. He didn't say it was. Of course, let's keep reading. I could be wrong, but... We are deeply sorry for the misinterpretation on our side, he concluded. While Kojima-san isn't actively looking to remake MGS1, he indicated he still has an interest in the idea, so that's what I was saying before. Well, if there's some creator or team in this world who has love and passion to remake MGS1, I would love to ask for it, he said. So, basically, he did not say he that it, that, oh, we are actually doing this and we want to look for other companies or whatever, western companies or whoever. Um, yeah, somewhere else it said western, I don't think it was, not this article, it doesn't look like, but uh, another, I think it was IGN? No, maybe, no, it wasn't IGN, it was, so, so I don't remember what site, I'm sorry, but some other site was saying something about western developers. So, yeah, again, it's, as of right now, it's not going to happen, but it's still possible that it could. So, I'm sure a lot of people are very upset about it. Actually, I was watching IGN, and then it was like almost immediately after I found out that it was a hoax, so... Yeah. Hideo Kojima is looking to remake the original Metal Gear Solid using... Wait, hold on. The original story follows right now, below. Hideo Kojima is looking to remake the original Metal Gear Solid using Kojima Productions' Next Generation Fox Engine Game Reactor Reports. During a roundtable interview at E3 Entertainment Expo, Entertainment Electronic Expo, I'm sorry, 2013, attended by Game Re Reactor, the MGS visionary said that he's currently seeking an external studio to handle the adaptation. The original, let's continue, the original Metal Gear Solid was released in 1998 for the PlayStation and was ported later to Windows in 2000. Okay, yeah, alright. Yeah, I thought I heard about a, like a PC version. Um, so I, I apparently was right, it actually is on the PC. It is considered to be one of gaming's defin hold on. definitive titles. Kojima has entrusted the Metal Gear franchise to external developers in the past. Eternal Darkness and two human developer Sil Silicon Knights handled the 2004 GameCube remake of Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. Um, hold on. Yeah, I think, uh, that's a, uh... Wait, what was the door over? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think those were Western companies that did those games, but I'm not really sure. Kojima Productions also drafted and Bayonetta developer Platinum Games for the spin-off title Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which was released earlier in 2013, and was supposed to be released even before that, but then it kept getting delayed. Then they changed the story, and then there was a tsunami, and then other stuff happened, so it just kept on getting delayed. Of course, that was two years ago, but it just now came out this year. Kojima Productions... Did I skip anything? No. Kojima Productions' Fox Engine was revealed in 2011, and it's designed to be a cross-platform engine designed around next generation Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I'm hoping uh, they're gonna, he's going to show some love for the Wii U, but I kind of doubt it. I would like to see Twin Snakes HD for the Wii U. The Fox Engine is powering Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, and is also behind Pro Evolution Soccer 2014. Actually, uh, the only problem with Twin Snakes HD is they would have to take certain features out, but I think it could still be possible because it, some MGS games worked on the Vita and there was a touchscreen. And some games don't even use the gamepad, really. Like, I know Black Ops 2, you don't even have to use the gamepad. So maybe they could just make it something like that. Elsewhere in the interview, Kojima said the value of next-generation consoles was about far more than a pr- improved visual pr- prowess. Prowess. Excuse me. For us, it's now about upgraded graphics or anything like that, he said. We're really looking forward to the fact that we can now use multiple devices to play a game. So whether it's smartphones or tablets, we can play Metal Gear Solid V on the tablet or smartphone and integrate that into what we have on the console. So people can play the game essentially 24 hours and be in the world of MGS anytime they like to. So yeah, that looks about it. Um, yeah, I believe that's the whole article. Unless they left out some stuff. So, I'm going to watch the trailer in Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. So yeah, just, I'm going to leave like these IGN and then GameSpot links. And then I'll leave the link for the trailer. It's probably a YouTube trailer. I don't know. I'm not on YouTube right now, though. So, um, yeah, um, just leave comments on what you think. Do you think there should be an MGS1 remake? I personally don't think there should be, because I think the Twin Snakes was good enough. They could just port that to uh, some next-gen consoles. I think it should be on the Wii U, because it was a GameCube game. Because, like, Wind Waker is going to go HD version, so do that with Twin Snakes. But they would have to remove the, uh, probably the memory cha- card thing, because it was something with that. And I'm not sure how the controller thing would work. Although Metal Gear Solid 1, uh, when you're playing that on a PS3, a lot of times you have to hold the uh, PS button down and do all this stuff to change the controller. So the Wii U, if you press the home button, you can like go to settings. Don't actually leave the game, but yeah, and then you can kind of do something similar to like the PS3. Similar to what the PS3 does, but yeah, I'm sorry, that's confusing. Yeah, if you don't have any of these systems, uh, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry for confusing you all. So, yeah, just leave a comment, what you think. And I think, uh, yeah, there was something to talk about MGS2, which he cannot do. So, yes, leave a comment. I'm sorry, I will shut up. And I will end this video here. Thanks, mates, for watching. This has been Video Game News. I may not title it Video Game News. I'll probably just call it Hideo Kojima looking for studio to remake Metal Gear Solid 1 hoax. I will shut up now. And thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.